Good morning from Nailed It Good here in Cameron, Ontario. And Tracy, how are you today? Today I'm going to show you how to do a two finger butterfly. I hope. <laughs> what I like to start out with is I did two coats of polish. And we're not going to be using these two fingers, we're going to be using these two. Paint on here. Just want to thin it down a bit. Get a nice striper. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to shape the first wing. And I like to do mine to a little bit of a point. It doesn't really matter if you make a mistake here, because you can go over it. Nothing has to be perfect. <clears throat> and on the other hand, you're going to try to do the exact same thing. See? Messed it up already. Me, for some reason, going in reverse is not the same as doing it the right way. I don't know if it's because I'm left-handed. I'm really not sure what it is. <laughs> All I do is try. I am not a perfectionist, that's for sure. Here. <clears throat> now, once you got your lines done, what you're going to want to do, I broke a nail on the weekend. <clears throat> Excuse my ugly finger. What you want to do is just, you can do your designs on the inside. I'm just going to thicken up these black lines first. You don't have to worry about how thick they are because you can actually go in and add beautiful little white dots to the black. Too much paint on my brush. So just so that it looks like butterfly wings. Just want to fill in this section here. 
And once that's dry, you can go back and do it again. If you're not happy with the way that your lines are going, that looks a little better. And don't forget to uh, have a piece of paper towel and some water ready because you're working with acrylic paint. And in order to do the colors that you want to do, you have to have your brush cleaned off. I like to make the tips of my butterflies quite thick in here so I can add some white dots because I just think that the dotting on the wings is just beautiful really makes it look like a butterfly This is going to be a long video because it's not working out as well as I want it to. I was hoping I could get it done really quick for you, but it does take time. For some reason today, my brush is not cooperating at all. <laughs> but that's usual, right? You can try and make them the same. Sometimes they never turn out the same, but don't really have to worry about it as long as it looks like a butterfly. Now you can fill in the wings with any color that you want. I've done a couple here. See where I filled it in with white and just put some colors in it but I want to try and do some dots on this one because I think they look awesome. I'm just going to uh, see if I can get my body in here. I like to paint the sides all black so it looks like there's a body there. Butterfly body. up at the top so it looks like his head is there. Sort of like a half circle. Meanwhile I got black paint all over the place here. But you can go back and clean that up afterwards. You don't have to worry about it right now. There's so many different ways you can do a butterfly. You can do dots, you can do stripes, you could do a nail polish gradient. There's just so many ways you can do it. 
I like the dots. I think it looks more like a butterfly with the dots. But that's just my personal opinion. You can do whatever you want. You can fill the wings in later. Any color that you want. I'm just a... I don't know if it's the monarch butterfly or what it is, but I'm quite happy with that. Paint is still wet up there. It figures, eh? You could do it any any design you want. This is just the way that I like to do it because it looks more like a butterfly this way. You can see what I'm doing there. Don't forget to clean off your, your tools and everything like that. little bit of a bigger dabber. This is where I go in and add some color. Just makes it look way more fancy. And what I do is I just follow the outline of the wings. comes out looking pretty good. You don't really need artistic talent except for doing the wings. And I admit the wings are a little bit hard to do. And both sides of the wings don't have to be perfect. And you can see how that's shaping up. It looks quite beautiful and it's really easy to do. And if you don't have a dotting tool, you can use a bobby pin, toothpick, you could use whatever you really want to use as long as it's got a point on it. And then you're going to wait for that to dry and then you're going to top coat it and you can even put half butterflies on the two end nails to complete it using the same colors we're using different colors whatever you want to do you can be creative and then at the end you can even do a little Let's see if I can do it today. Swirl up here for an antenna. And just when you want a thin line, it comes out nice and thick. And then you don't have nothing on the brush. Crazy. Can put a little swirl in there for the antenna. And then you're going to wait for that to dry and you're going to top coat it so that you protect it. And don't forget to top coat the tips for protection so that the nail polish and the paint doesn't come off when you're working. So I hope you'd enjoyed today's video and tutorial step by step and we'll see you soon. Talk to you later. Have a good day.